Hi, Mrs. Pondrum. Are you ready for 40 questions of the forecast? I think so. Okay. If you could take any class offered at Hockaday this year, which one would you take? Forensics. Who is your favorite celebrity? Uh, Taylor Swift. Can you do an impression of your favorite celebrity? I promise that you'll never find somebody like me. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Pineapple on pizza? Oh yes, absolutely. That's my favorite. If you could travel anywhere in the world, where would you go? Australia. Early bird or night owl? Um, previous to kids, night owl, but now by necessity early bird. Coffee or tea? Tea and always sweet. Would you rather never eat french fries again or never eat cookies again? That is a tough one, but I would never eat french fries. Can you play any instruments? I can play the clarinet. If you had to write a JRP, what topic would you choose? Um, probably the aftermath of World War II. Interesting. I heard you have two kids. What are their names and how old are they? So Courtney is four and a half and Jacob is one and a half. If you could join the cast of any TV show, which one would it be? Um, because I would love to learn how to dance, Dancing with the Stars. What is your secret talent? Um, I can water ski. Nice. Would you rather have hands for feet or feet for hands? I would rather have um, hands for feet. <laughs> Who has been your biggest role model and why? Um, definitely my mom because she always still picks up the phone whenever I call and will always talk to me no matter what. What gets you out of bed in the morning? Um, either my alarm clock or one of my children. How do you unwind? I'm probably just watching TV with my husband. If you could trade lives with someone for a day, who would it be and what would you do? You know, maybe my dog so I could take a really long nap. <laughs> <laughs> what is the most overworn item in your wardrobe? Um, definitely one of the very many pairs of black pants that I own. Would you rather fight a hundred duck-sized horses or one horse-sized duck? Um, I guess one horse-sized duck. Okay. Thank you. Here we are. You're welcome. Ooh, fancy seeing you here, Mr. Runyon. Oh, hey, forecast friends. Are you ready for 40 questions? I am so ready. Let's do this. All right, let's go. Is a hot dog a sandwich? Duh, yes. If you could take any class offered at Hockaday this year, which one would you take? Um, I would probably take all social impact classes, but the history gender class one sounds awesome. Gotcha. What has been the most impactful event in your life? Switching from working on a college campus to K through 12 education, because we could actually like change issues that we see on college campuses. Oh, oh! <laughs> Don't leave this in the hallway. It's dangerous. <laughs> if you could travel to any historical time period and place, where would you go? Um, I'd probably go to the 60s because I feel like that was a time for like women's liberation and like, um, you know, underrepresented groups really rising up and having a voice in the country. Do you speak any languages other than English? Sadly, no, but a little French and a little Italian. Ooh, cool. Favorite ice cream flavor? Mint, cookies, and cream because it's like a breath mint too. Describe your ideal day. Sleeping in till about 8 o'clock, having avocado toast, curling up on the couch with my dogs, and not doing anything, especially not reading essays. If you were stranded on an island for three days and you could only bring one book and one drink, what would you bring? Ooh, I only drink four types of drinks, so coffee, iced tea, water, or seltzer water. Um, so I would probably bring Waterloo coconut flavor. And then I would bring Lily and the Octopus because I like ugly cried so much through that book. What is the best piece of advice you have received? Other people's opinions of you are none of your business. What is the worst piece of advice you have ever received? I don't listen to the haters. I just let it go. Nice. What is your favorite sage, sage dish? So I was really upset because one senior told me how awesome, awesome the pesto pasta was, and they've never had it. Oh. Um, so I'm hoping that comes through so I can try it. A spoonful of peanut butter or a spoonful of Nutella? Peanut butter, always. Ferris wheel or roller coaster? I don't really like rides, but I'm gonna go with roller coaster because I'm happy after I do it. What is your favorite movie? So I really like The Godfather and also like bad 80s comedies like 16 Candles. Do you play any musical instruments? Unfortunately, no. Biggest regret is not learning how to play the piano. <laughs> Can you do a cartwheel for us? Yes. 
so excited. <laughs> Woo! And round off. Nice. Actually, the worst advice I got was someone telling me to quit gymnastics when I was in, what was it, fourth grade? Should have stayed with it. If your life had a theme song, what would it be? Ooh, Unstoppable by Sia. <laughs> How would you describe your personal style? I would say classic and cute, but some people say young suburban dad. <laughs> Greatest purchase you have ever made? My Chawini Zephyr. He's a Chihuahua Dachshund mix and he's seven years old and I love him. Oh. I also love our other dog too, but I didn't buy her, my partner did. If you could go back and tell your 13-year-old self one thing, what would it be? Oh, it's what I tell all kids. It's an Oscar Wilde quote. Be yourself, everyone else is taken. Awesome. Great advice. Thank you for reading for 40 questions of the forecast. Thanks, friends. Now I'm going to go back to reading forecast. You should, too.